Hi, I'm Kelly Ballman with the Salvation Army Samaritan Center. We offer adult day services to people from the community. We help families take care of their loved ones and give a sense of purpose to the participants. I invite you to stop in or call to see what our program has to offer. We are located on West Hubert Avenue in Lancaster and our phone number is 740-687-1921. Remember, the Samaritan Center changes how you live, not where you live. of Lancaster Perspective. I'm Mike Miller. My special guest today from the United Way, Susie Nixon-Stoughton, the uh, Resource uh, Development Manager. How are you doing? I'm fabulous. How are you? Living the dream. That's right. Each well, and every day. You got it. That's exactly it. Yes. Life treat you all right? You know, it really is. I can't complain, and when I do, people don't listen anyway, so you might just as well remain positive, right? Yeah, absolutely. That's right. Yeah, absolutely. The, uh, well, you have uh, been really busy. Uh, you've got a uh, a couple things coming up, um, but let's talk a little bit about campaigns. Let's let's talk a little bit about campaigns first. I know that two fifth, 2015 is wrapping up. Or? The, the 2015 campaign um, officially wraps up, uh, you know, end of December, beginning of January. Then those dollars um, through our committees that are made up of volunteers throughout Fairfield County, uh, they come together to actually decide the allocations that the agencies, the partner agencies that we have. Um, and how many do you have? Uh, 22, 23 wow. roughly. And that doesn't include the programs that we run directly out of our office, such as Career Closet, um, the VITA Income Tax Preparation. Right. This year, um, Scott was just telling me yesterday about 1,800 returns, and they're still trying to get a total. But um, $2.3, $2.4 million worth of income that's refunds that are being brought back into the no county. No kidding. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yes. And uh, as long as people are in income eligible, or in the case of seniors, there isn't income, uh, keep us in mind next year, uh, because we do those, those tax refunds absolutely free. And something we do all year long through Scott's department uh, for people who need help with FAFSA applications. Oh, yes. They can come down and we'll take care of those at no charge as well. Yeah. And that's a, those, that's a tough job. I mean, FAFSA is... Uh, I've been through them a couple of times. My wife usually does all of them, but yes. she doesn't want me to have, touch them or be involved with it. So. Well, and I can tell you sometimes people just reach that point where um, they just really need the help so they can give us a call, schedule an appointment with Scott, and Scott will get them through it. Fantastic. And the 2016 campaign? It kicks off on Tuesday, September 13th. Uh, the campaign goal this year is uh, $1.7 million dollars. And our campaign chair, it's a co-chair situation this year, or as I like to call them, my campaign couple, it's Steve and Judy Root. Oh, fantastic. Mm -hmm. They've done a great job. Fantastic. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm sure that uh, everything will turn out the way it always has been. I hope. Uh, right, 1.7, baby, that's, that's the goal. Well, if you so, don't have the goal, right? You reach right. for the star? Exactly. Right? And I'm going to do my very best. Oh, you always do. I, uh, I I would never question that. Well, you know, it's it's partners. Um, by going out into the community, businesses allow us in to do campaigns. Uh, donors who donate their hard-earned income, hard income to us. Um, I'm just lucky that I can basically be the conductor. Right. But if it weren't for a lot of people stepping up, we would never we would never come anywhere close to goal. And one of those things that one of those step ups that we've talked about is Monday, June twentieth. This is amazing. I was looking through this earlier, and it, it, it's okay to come out and go out and play? It's okay to, to, to come out. Or it's actually, it's okay to go out and play, and I noticed that we have some oh, sure. uh, pictures yeah. that are yeah. running behind us from last year's event. National Day of Action, it's a Euro United Way worldwide event, and on or about June 21st, United Way agencies are asked to run an event uh, tied into the longest day of the year to run an event that will show volunteerism. And in some of the pictures, you'll see some volunteers from People's Bank and, and uh, Interface Video. And you know we have a lot of people who step up. But to actually do an activity that benefits the community. So last year, we decided that we wanted to do something different. And since it ties in so closely to the end of the school year, we thought we want to do something to work with kids and give them things to do outside as opposed to being inside, whether it's watching TV or playing video games. 
So as anything happens after your first year, uh, people hear what you do the first year and then they want to uh, come forward and help you make the event even bigger oh, yeah. in yep. the next year. And that's exactly what we've had happen this year. And I'm so excited. It's, it's cool. incredible. And in talking to you, I already have some ideas of what we can do next year. So on Monday, June 20th, from 9 a.m. until noon, we have a variety of activities that are going to be going on. The morning starts with a proclamation that, that Mayor Kuhn, on behalf of the city of Lancaster, mm -hmm. is going to do a proclamation to let people know that it's okay to go out and play. Um, we will have, and, and we're targeting those, those young families sure. with kids, say, ages 2 or 3 to 12. Um, so last year, and you see in some of the pictures, um, we have moms coming down and, and bringing their kids right. just to give them something to do. And everything that I'm going to be discussing with you is free. So the uh, you'll see a kid, a couple let's of talk, Let's talk Ron, about one of these pictures. Eh? Yes. <laughs> so this is Ron Burris, and he came down last year. Part of the event is, while supplies last, we give away gently used, reconditioned bicycles uh, to kids. Sure. Uh, we had an adult stop down because they needed transportation to work last year. So Ron was, was on hand last year to actually make sure that the bike that somebody selects actually fits That's them. Yeah. Um, and to tie in with that, we have... Um, um, a bicycle helmet giveaway that's being sponsored by the Safe Kids Coalition. So both of those items are while supplies last, but certainly it's something that um, will encourage kids to get some sure. some exercise, but also to be outside. Right. That's uh, there's a couple more. There's oh, uh, yourself well, in there. Yes, uh, that is Bob Competti and Aaron Uhl. Uh, they are Interface Video Productions. They volunteer to come down and provide music that you hear. But anytime someone needs a sound system, uh -huh. uh, Bob's got it there for somebody to be able to use. Um, the the one the uh, one guest that we have that has already stated they need to have the help of a sound system. System. We have the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium coming. So Fantastic. that's something we didn't have last year, so we're very excited. Uh, they will be uh, from 10.30 to 11.30-ish, maybe we, we end at noon. Uh, they're going to be bringing some animals down for us. And so when you have these animal appearances, for kids who may be um, through financial reasons, right. uh, whatever reason that they can't get to the zoo in person, on a much smaller scale, they, they get to have that interaction with those appearance of those animals. So we don't know what, what animals they're bringing. Right. Uh, it depends on if they're having a good day or a bad, bad day, day the morning of sure. June 20th. Yeah. So, um, you know, you don't want somebody who woke up on the wrong Thor side of wherever <laughs> it is that is their bed uh, showing up in Lancaster that day. So they will be there. Um, Jolly Hoppers, many people are familiar. They have a great business on South Ewing. My granddaughter's birthday party yeah. was there back in September. It, that's not she, your, but she's in one of these she's, pictures. Yes. Right? When you see Mayor Smith from last Let's, year doing the proclamation, you want yeah. to wait for it? it? Yeah, because it'll come through. And I, I had to laugh because uh, Mayor Smith... Smith was and we, well. This is another picture. This but. is a, a very uh, young family who right. brought a lot of children down to make sure it's the neighbors, uh, the neighbor family. So they came down. <laughs> I know. Um, and then these are representatives from People People's Bank. And I talked to Kathy Badgley this morning, yeah. and they're going to come back again this year and bring some volunteers. Fantastic. So it's very exciting. That's I think the next picture you'll see the mayor with the proclamation. And in the uh, far lower left-hand side of the screen, you'll see one Cassidy and, uh, oh, well, no, there's Ron again. again. That's, uh, How uh, cute is that? That, oh, that picture just... is just an infamy. It's just going to be out there. Uh, oh, this is uh, Fairhope Hospice, their 25-foot parachute, and they'll be back again this year. Wow. Uh, Tracy Miller and, and Ernie Doling are going to be back. Um, some of our current and past uh, employees, I see my husband and Bob Competti in the background. <laughs> uh, my brother with his, yeah, he's chasing my oh, granddaughter. There's, there there's Miss right Cassidy. There. So, and, and you see her holding a balloon animal. Um, we do have um, Joe from Belusions. He uh -huh. will be back. Um, he will be helping us again and again this year. The family why we were talking about this a little bit off off camera. Right. Uh -huh. So they show up with this big bucket of bubbles last year, <laughs> two wooden poles and a string. Looks like uh -huh. maybe a kite string, yeah. maybe a little heavier. And I'm thinking, yeah, right, bubbles. <laughs> I have to tell you, they worked with the kids. 
there were bubbles bigger than my head, but That's more true. importantly, a toddler, it was bigger than uh -huh. a toddler. Yeah. So um, they're coming back again this year. I'm very excited to have them them come back and help us out. Uh, two Broke Artist, they are coming and we have purchased sidewalk chalk. Uh -huh. So instead of just setting the kids loose and just letting them draw whatever, they're going to work with them on how to actually create something uh, like they would if you were in right, their studio sure. to yeah. do an actual painting. Wow. Um, Ohio Glass Museum, they came last year, so this will be a, a repeat appearance for them. Not only do they show you how to play marbles, but you leave and you have your own little uh -huh. bag uh, of marbles. So that's really cool to know that that's coming from, um, you know, the, the Ohio Glass Museum. And they won't let me play because I've lost mine. Well, I didn't want to bring that up, but <laughs> now it's okay. out there. That's all right. It's okay. uh, we also have the AHA Children's Museum. I heard back from them today. They're very much looking forward to it. Uh, so they'll have different activities for the kids to take part in. Um, a fun thing, everybody sees these brightly colored trucks driving around. It's the Kona ice truck. Yes. So you make your little, um, I, I don't, snow cone snow type cones, deal. Uh -huh. um, so he will be there and uh, we'll have him set up. So, you know, what job would I be doing if we didn't have kids all sugared up and then oh, sent them home? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. You know? yep. um, uh, grandkids, that's the best thing. And <laughs> everything we're talking about, this is a free event. So parents can come down, and maybe they have one child, maybe they have five. They can come and take part of this, and, and it's it's a free event. And this is Monday, June 20th. Monday, um, June 20th. Downtown. Is there any need to get there before 9 o'clock? No. Yeah, okay. No need. Uh, but I will tell you, before we go on with everything else we have, no. we have scheduled, Broad Street will be closed between Maine and Chestnut. Okay. So we will have, I've worked with Lancaster Parks Department. We're using uh, Fountain Square Park. Yep. Uh, we will have the street, um, you know, between us and Lancaster City Hall, clear down to Chestnut Street. And the reason being that, that that's so important to us to have that amount of space, Lancaster Fire Department is coming and they're bringing their smokehouse. Yeah. So parents mm -hmm. will be able to have children learn how to get out of a house that, you know, right. if the worst case scenario happens and there's a house fire. What ties in with that nicely is Rod Cook um, and the American Red Cross, they're bringing their 911 simulator. So this is going to be a great opportunity for kids to learn how and when to dial 911. Right. So we're really excited about that as well. Um, Fairfield Medical Center's dietary department's coming. So... Um, where I'm telling kids go have a free snow cone. Yeah, they're they're going to be yeah. the adult, you know, they're uh -huh. going to be the adult version of this event to let people know, um, you know, what good healthy snacks are and, and making good choices. Right, sure. um, and I, I probably should have told Jennifer that the Kona ice truck was going to be there, but you know, that, no, it's all, all right. it's hey, all good. That's good. They'll be fine. That's right. Lancaster Police Department dare officers are going to be walking around and interacting with kids and their parents. Fairfield County Sheriff's Department will be there. They're going to have a table set up. Um, there, I know that uh, in the future you'll probably have them on, but um, I think they've got a program coming up with kids out riding bikes this summer. Um, and then Promotions by Design, this was one of the best calls that you can get. Uh, they, their entire staff, six of them, are looking for different volunteer opportunities throughout the community. So they're going to bring some free temporary tattoos because you know what kid doesn't like oh, those. Absolutely, absolutely. But more importantly, they are willing to roll up their sleeves and actually jump in. And she has an artist on staff, so I've already reached out to two broke artists. Sure. And so that volunteerism will happen by hooking them up. So we're going to have uh, lots of different things going on that it will be great for us to be able to um, involve folks that want to come and just help. Now, you said last year was the first year for this? It was. How many did you have last year? We probably had over, a little over maybe a hundred kids wow, that came down. And, and this year, we've been able to really play off of it. And um, I, Bloom Carroll, or I'm sorry, Burn Union. Uh -huh. um, they asked for flyers that will go out and all of the kids backpack the last day of school. Fantastic. I worked with Lancaster City Schools Preschool and they've sent the flyer out. So any place that I can go th this afternoon I'm taking them down um, to uh, Bremen Library because they do a lot right. with kids. So just any place that we can really get the word out to let people know that this is a free event. There's going to be some fun for kids. Fairhope Hospice is bringing their 25-foot parachute. And fun. this... 
kids surround it, everybody takes a part, and um, they really get well, that parachute yeah. going, and, and we, yeah, we, we were able to show the picture. Um, but it just goes to show that together, you know, one person, you're not going right. to make that parachute move. Yeah. But working together yeah. as a team, it does move, and then somebody can let go and run under. There's just a lot of things that can happen That's with neat. that. So we're really excited. It's colorful. You love to have that. Oh, yeah. But there's a lot of play, and then there's going sure. to be some learning yeah. elements mixed in. Now, you, you have quite a few sponsors to help you out. Yes. Uh, and we'd be remiss if we didn't mention the some of those anyway. I, I'm very excited. Um, our presenting sponsor this year is a brand new sponsor to United Way of Fairfield County, Nationwide Children's Hospital. So uh, they have stepped up and they will be there. They'll have a tent set up. Uh, so we're excited about that. The first, uh, the first event sponsor to, to step up almost a year ago um, was ag transport ag container transport um, so their family ties to the baltimore area uh, their business is located more canal winchester groveport area mm -hmm. but they were the first ones to step up when i mention our bicycles um, gently used recon sure. reconditioned bicycles that would not be possible without our friends at company wrench so they take care of us uh, through the year when an adult is getting back into the workforce for whatever reason they may not have a driver's license and they need transportation back and forth to work i can reach out to brad send him an email and within a day or two he'll drop a bike off to me at the that's office neat. that's great and that way i can reach out to that person and let them know that they now have transportation to and from work that's so fantastic. it's really exciting yeah. um, obviously we mentioned the why safe kids coalition aha kona ice um, Ohio Glass Museum, Jolly Hoppers, Interface um, Video Productions, and then Coles. They not only um, come in and um, offer support, but if it's coming in a day early and folding t-shirts or whatever it is that we may need, uh, the Coles folks are always there for us. Uh, always the, the $64,000 question, rain or shine? Rain or shine. Okay. But you know, I had such bad luck <laughs> when I used to you know, uh -huh. work with the Heroes Breakfast, yeah. that last year we had a sunny, hot day and it was perfect. So I think it's my paybacks for all of those level two snow yeah. warnings for the Heroes Breakfast that it's going to be a beautiful, sunny day. Fantastic. And at least until 1 or one thirty, till yeah. everybody gets tore yeah. down. <laughs> that is, after that, then after it's, that I'm good yeah. with it. Yes, That's, yes. Well, that is fantastic. How much planning goes into this? Well, I, mean, I, was, much... just, I was just going to go into that. This year I had um, the honor... And it was a pleasure. Mm -hmm. My youngest stepdaughter, Sarah, um, what, just graduated a couple of weeks ago from Ohio University. Thank you. The yeah. Ohio University. The Ohio University. Harvard yes. on the hockey. That's right. Um, and was looking for a um, for her her last semester an internship. Oh, yeah. So I talked to Sherry, and, and Sarah and I have always had the type of relationship where it was a lot of mentoring. So I knew it would be a good fit if you know Sherry would let right. her come on and do this. So I said to Sarah very early on, I said, okay, so probably for an A at the end of your semester, you're probably going to want to do an event. Yeah. So pretty much start to finish with the folks that we have coming. Um, I've added some, but I would say 75 to 80% of those that are participating, she took the initiative to reach out to them. Wow. Uh, yeah, she did a That's great neat. job. So um, I would have had her here with me today, but she is currently on a trip that her mama got her for her graduation. So she's flying oh. back to Ohio today. I understand. So it made me sick that she couldn't be with me, um, but she really has done a great job. And um, for me, I was able to see her in a different light and to really know that um, she's looking to um, locate in Marietta, Ohio. Oh, okay. And it, it was really nice for me to see she's going, to, whoever hires her, uh -huh. this girl's got it going on and she th think things, thinks things through. So what does she, what does she study? Then? Communications. Communications? Okay. So, um, you know, certainly, um, yeah. If it's a nonprofit job, I think she would be very comfortable in that. I met her when she was eight years old, and at the time I was working at the Y. Yep. Um, I moved on to the American Red Cross, and I have to tell you, that kid was one that would roll up her sleeves, and if it was an event going on, if I needed copies run, yeah. if whatever it was, she was right there with me. So I really feel she'll be very comfortable in a nonprofit setting. Um, but at this point, 
fresh out of college, yeah. a job's a, a job. A job's a job, yeah. That's, I actually read an article the other day. The toughest, believe it or not, the toughest city to get a job, New York. The easiest city is San Francisco. Really? Yes. There were, there were 25. Huh. And then, you know, Denver was in there and Chicago. And, but, yeah, I was I was amazed. I really was amazed. Well, I'm just hoping um, that something something comes together for her um, in Marietta. And uh, once she gets back, uh, Sherry ended up hiring her on, and she worked a few days for us up until she left on her trip. So her internship turned into part-time work, yeah. which gave her even more experience. And for me, really enabled her to pretty much see this through. So this week, right. in her absence, um, I've been reaching out to remind everybody that, you know, this remind them of the date of the event. Um, instead of Live United t-shirts that so many people see in the community, uh -huh. as you saw in the pictures, yeah. it says Play United to tie into what we do. So just reaching out to uh, the sponsors and to the folks that are coming to actually um, work with the kids to find out t-shirt sizes and things so that everybody can, sure. can deliver that same message. Now, is all this information on the website? Uh, the information is out there. I would probably say um, by the end of the day, we'll have this on the website. Um, it does mention the date, but it doesn't have the specifics. Right. But if you go to our Facebook page, and we're on Twitter, um, just look for it, and, and you'll see a lot of the stuff right out there. It's it's all there. That's fantastic. That, it's, that, that's, uh, uh, now, number-wise, how many kids do you expect? I mean, last you had 100 or so. Well, the, the first, right now we're saying uh, the first 150 children that, that come will receive a free Play United t-shirt. Um, we do have some extras, so I, I'm hoping, I would love to see it double and be into the 200s, oh, um, but we've done a much better job this year of marketing it. Um, last year we didn't know what we didn't sure. know. Yeah. So, um, and, and I mentioned earlier in the interview, literally from the time we finished last year's, I knew we could pump life into it and really right. make it something. Um, and sitting here talking to you off camera, I think that um, we'll already get ideas to make it even something better next year. So that's what you always hope, that um, you can involve people. Uh, the city has been fabulous to me. Like I said, it involved um, Paul Martin, who yeah. as city service safety director to give me the parade permit, the um, Mike, I just drew a blank on his last name, forgive me, Parks Department. Superintendent, um, <laughs> I can. I Tharp. Can, Tharp. Um, he's been wonderful. I reached out today um, to Greg Hintz through uh, Lancaster Department of Transportation. Mm -hmm. So just making yep. sure, um, you know, the Sheriff's Department, Lancaster Police Department, Lancaster Fire Department, they have really all stepped up, and um, they're very supportive of what we're doing. Is that? So. I mean, when you talk to other counties, do mm -hmm. I mean, do they have? As much cooperation as we do in this, this county? You know, I've never really asked specifically about that. Uh -huh. um, I, I will just tell anybody that will listen. Um, you know, it's one thing that to say that, you know, you, you love the home that you live in. or I, I consider myself blessed every day to not only live in this community, mm -hmm. but to work in this community. Mm -hmm. Because I, I think that I would be hard-pressed. Um, the only time I've ever lived away was in the Dayton area. Um, but it just, and maybe I wasn't there long enough to truly realize yeah. it, but there is no better community for really being willing to step up and see what you can do to help somebody else. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So it's, we're, we're very, very blessed. And, um, you know, it's, it's great for us to say, yes, United Way is doing Day of Action, Monday, June 20th, 9 a.m. to noon. It's not, <coughs> it's not an event mm -hmm. if we don't have people who are willing to work with us. Right. So, um, you know, it's exciting. I, I want everybody that's coming to hopefully walk away from it saying, you know, that was, right. that was a great event. Oh, absolutely. Now, do you go to other counties and, I mean, and see, boy, that works? Well, we could do that, or we could do that, or do they come here and say we, the same thing? United Way Worldwide um, sends out um, an email every morning. So we're, and every you report, morning? Mm -hmm, every morning we get, um, I think it's called Breakfast with United Way. Uh, wow. So people can report on what they're doing, but we also have a website where we can just say day of action. You can see what different people do. Uh, some do book drives, some go out and they read any place that they can get volunteers into and read to kids. Ah, okay. So everybody can pick a different activity. Sure. Um, and before I started with United Way, I remember um, their event was on the other side of Broad Street.
Street, and they had a thing like Walk with the Doc, and it but oh, it was yeah. geared all towards adults. Uh -huh. So yeah. last year we really switched gears and wanted to gear it towards kids, and uh, like I said, it it took off, um, and this year it's going to be even bigger and better. Well, that is fantastic. We're going to have Digger Dog walking around from Columbia Gas. Does Digger it get Dog a, will be there. Digger Dog, good old Digger. Um, so, yeah, so, you yeah. know, it's it's nice to know that there'll be a mascot or two oh, there. Yeah. Yeah, um, absolutely. And, and, you know, we reached out to try to do everything, whether it was the Blue Jackets or whomever. But sure. those are scheduling things that need to be done, obviously, further in advance than, right. than when Sarah and I started this. So, again, next year we stay on the same track. Who knows? Who oh, we may absolutely. Have, yeah. have Stinger. You never yeah. know. Is there anybody that you've looked at and thought, boy, I'd love to get them? You know, I mean, there's somebody that you, you've looked at and, you know, just. As far as like a mascot? Yeah, no, just any, oh, any you anybody. know, just thinking that, boy, this would be really neat if we had the money or if we had the, could we do this? I mean. Well, you know, I think, I think looking at it, um, if we were to add anything else to this, probably um, COSI. Because oh, I own wheels. Yeah. Um, yeah. But we're already um, from, you know, AHA coming and setting right. up and Jolly Hoppers and, and Columbus Zoo. And it's already exploded from what it was sure. last year. Yeah. Um, and we're going to have the smokehouse there. and tea. So I have to see how we line up now to see how right. much room I have. Right. Um, yeah. To see. And, and I wouldn't want Coast Eye on Wheels to take away from sure. the Columbus Zoo. So, right. um, so their appearance schedules are usually an hour to an hour and a half. Possibly I'd look at one first thing in the morning and one in the, in, right. later in the morning around noontime um, if we get to the point where we can grow it like that. Well, that's fantastic. Uh, again, this uh, it's okay to go out and play. Uh, day of action, Monday, June 20th, uh, downtown. 9 a.m. to noon. Uh, and, and I'd like to point out to folks, too, if you come down and you're, you know, it's the dreaded where do I park. Uh, yeah. If you go to the intersection of Walnut and South Broad Street, uh, it would be on the west side. Um, if you're heading south on Broad, mm -hmm. it'll be on the west side of Broad Street at the intersection. You, the approach for the parking lot is actually right. off of Chestnut Street. It says um, Lancaster City Schools parking only. Right. Yep. We lease that building. So it's okay to park there. Sure. Nobody will be towed. And it's a, it's a very good size parking lot. So if people want to park there, um, remember it says Lancaster City Schools lot. and Because directly across the street, there's a different lot. And that's City of Lancaster lot. You might get a little nasty gram there, but if you park on Lancaster City Schools, You'll you're good okay. to go. Well, uh, Susie, we appreciate you coming in. Uh, again, my special guest today, Susie Nixon Stoughton, a Resource Development Director for United Way, talking about Day of Action, Monday, June 20th. Thank you very much for letting me come out and talk, and for JT and everybody just having the pictures. This is this is high tech. I love it. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to this edition of Lancaster Perspective. I'm Mike Miller, and remember, until we meet again, let's make a difference. In 1929 uh, in Chicago, uh, a gentleman by the name of Marion Wade, a former uh, minor league baseball player, started the company. It was just a moth proofing company then. Uh, in 1952, it expanded to carpet cleaning and pioneered what uh, is now called uh, outsourcing. And the Sidwells wanted a community that had a lot of churches, had a lot of soccer opportunities, their kids love soccer, uh, and a good parks and rec department, so they chose Lancaster. And so in 1980, uh, they moved the franchise here in Lancaster to 6th Avenue. Uh, but then in 2002, Todd George, current owner, purchased the franchise from them. And in 2004, he bought a building uh, that's on Mulberry Street, and that's where the franchise is located currently. I'm Jay Johnson, General Manager of Service Master Clean by Todd George, where we guarantee if it's not done right the first time, we'll do it again. Service Master Clean by Todd George, 740-687-1077, 740-687-1077.